Hey there folks, thanks for dropping in. Tonight's dinner is going to be a miso glazed Chilean sea bass. My favorite. <laughs> and a mushroom, shrimp, and pea, because Donnie loves peas, mm -hmm. uh, orzo pasta and shallots um, that are gonna go together for this meal. So, I've got about one pound, three ounces of Chilean sea bass skin on, and I have the miso glaze. This miso glaze consists of one third cup of sake, one third cup of mirin, uh, about three tablespoons of soy sauce, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one third cup of white miso paste, and about a tablespoon of ginger paste. You can get them like in a little tube and you don't have to go and buy a whole bunch of ginger and waste it. So, this is gonna go into the fridge for at least two, I'm probably gonna uh, put it in there for three hours. So I got my fish, I'm gonna put it in my plastic bag, and I'm gonna add the miso glaze in, the marinade rather. Okay. So I want this to really Get a nice marinade on here. Get all these flavors. Get all the air out. And those flavors are amazing. I'm gonna get more of this air out, just in case. And in that three hours, two to three hours, I'm gonna turn it, open it up, make sure that it's really marinating nicely in here. In fact, I'm gonna turn it upside down. So the, there you go. So this is gonna uh, sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. It is four o'clock, we had a late lunch, so we're gonna probably have dinner around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Is that good, Donnie? Sounds good to me. 7.30, 8 o'clock, we're kinda late uh, dinner, dinner folk. And um, then we'll talk about when we come back, uh, all the ingredients for the orzo, shrimp, mushroom, shallot, pea, or so pasta, that's really good. And um, we'll come back and we'll talk about that. So we'll see you in a few hours, or in your time, a few seconds. Okay, we're back. Now's the time for the orzo mushroom, shrimp, pea, orzo pasta. All right, I have some butter that's surrendering here, and I have it heated, ready to go. So I got my one quarter cup of shallots and about four or five ounces of mushroom. And I'm gonna let this render out. So with the, the ingredients that are going in here, besides that, I've got some garlic, I have some peas, and I have some, uh, some shrimp, chicken stock, Parmesan cheese, obviously the orzo pasta, and I have a little bit of seasoning here. I got some salt, some pepper, some garlic pepper, and some red pepper flakes for a little heat. You can leave that out if you want. And once these uh, these veggies here, the, mu uh, the mushrooms and the shallots kind of render out, I'm gonna add a little bit of Marsala wine. Give it a nice little flavor. Flavor. <clears throat> gonna let that cook for a bit. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna throw in my garlic. Now, once, this, once I put this all together, it's probably gonna take about anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes to complete. I'm gonna put in the shrimp and the peas. The, the peas are frozen, which is fine. The shrimp, um, I just need to put it the last minute and put it through. You don't wanna overcook your shrimp. Uh, the, the um, starts to harden and uh, you know nobody wants to have hard shrimp in their meal so all right I'm gonna turn this up to high because I'm gonna put the Madeira wine in that's about it mm, smells good Mm, I like Madeira wine. I like Madeira wine. This is actually Marsala wine. Madeira and Masala I use uh, 
uh, interchangeably with uh, whatever I'm really going to use. To me, they're, they're both kind of the same, a little distinct in flavor, but they serve the purpose here. Okay. Okay, that's cooked down a bit. I'm going to throw in the orzo pasta. I'm going to coat that with all those flavors. Now this is one cup. It's certainly more than enough uh, for Donnie and I for this meal. There'll probably be a little bit of leftovers. Um, this orzo pasta really expands. And now I'm going to put in the seasonings. Again, the salt, the pepper, garlic, powder, and the red pepper flakes. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down because I can see it's starting to... All that uh, liquid has now been absorbed. I want to toast the rice a little bit. The last thing I'm going to put in here, actually right before the... Um, or right after the shrimp and the peas will be the Parmesan cheese. So, chicken stock. How many cups? Uh, two cups, one cup of orzo and two cups. So it's two to one ratio. Okay, I'm going to let this sit here. I'm going to let it come to a, a boil or a good simmer. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and turn it down to a medium low and let it sit. And um, I will get the Chilean sea bass um, out of its marinade and get that ready to go. That's only going to take seven to nine minutes. Um, and this pasta, this orzo pasta, can actually sit for... The time that I put in the shrimp and the peas is when I'm going to put it into the uh, convection oven. Put it on a broiler, seven to nine minutes, and that should be good to go. So when we come back, we'll be, when this is almost done, I'll put in the final peas and the shrimp, and then we'll get the uh, Chilean sea bass into the convection oven. On a broiler, seven to nine minutes. See you back. Okay, we're getting down to the wire. So, my orzo rice is starting to almost done. I'm going to add in the peas and the shrimp. You'll say, damn, that's a lot of peas and a lot of shrimp. Donnie likes a lot of everything I do. in rice and stuff. Um, actually, that's not so bad. He usually likes more stuff than I do. Um, okay, so that's going to sit. I'm going to put in the Parmesan. And I'm going to let just uh, let this sit here. Oops, look at the big mess that I made. I'm going to let it sit here and warm through. Let it sit. Look, look at the mess I made. I hate making messes. Okay, let's move on over here to the fish, to the Chilean sea bass. And so now this part, you know, this is how they how they sell these pieces. And of course, this piece right here, look how thin it is. I'm really not gonna like it. I would typically cut it off here, but Donnie says, I'll eat it, don't let him eat it. I'm going to baste just a little bit with the miso glaze. I'm gonna save the glaze too. After the nine minutes, the seven to nine minutes, if it, if it uh, if, to me, if it, if it hasn't quite Got the color that I'm looking for. I'm going to put a little bit more of the marinade on it and then leave it in there for a minute or two more. So, I'm going to set my broiler. I'm going to set it in. And when that's ready to go, I'm going to put the Chilean sea bass in and we'll be back to see the end result. See you back in a bit. Okay, test time. So, here we go with the orzo. The mushroom and shrimp and pea, shallot. Mm, this is really good. I've made this so many times. You can never go wrong. Now, if you never have done the Chilean sea bass, Donnie's came out a little darker. It might have fallen 
under the broiler a little better. Um, but here we go. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. I haven't had Chilean sea bass in a long time. The marinade is really good. Um, it's not overpowering on the um, the sea bass. Mmm. Mmm, that's really a good marinade. Doesn't take away the flavor of the sea bass in its natural state, so to speak. Um, but the, the marinade does add a nice little, uh, it complements it well. Mmm. This is really good. Well, time to sign off because I got to eat and Donnie's dying to eat as well. Um, I'll have all the measurements, at uh, the measurements, yes, and um, all the ingredients in the description below. It's 8 o'clock. I hope you all have a nice evening. <laughs>